Hey, good morning. Welcome to Kogan Sunday Service, a time in a series that's set up to give you some hope and some help during these incredibly difficult times. As always, we want to thank Kogan Self Defense Academy for Rob, for Matt, for Bowie, for all that they do to make Kogan happen, to make this happen. Guys, thank you. This is spiritual defense, and as such, we have three principles that we live from. The first is to defend, to defend ourselves against anxiety, against fear, and against depression. It is to disarm, to disarm the powers and the forces of darkness and evil, and it is to defeat those forces and those powers and walk in freedom and in victory. This series has been all about the struggle. Last week, we introduced this idea of struggle, and today, I wanna to talk a little bit more about it. You know, when I think about the struggle in dedicating ourselves to these martial arts, to self-defense, there are techniques to be learned, there are movements to acquire, there are simply movements to perfect, and as we go through all of that, it is a struggle. Hearing from guys who have done this for years and years, they will tell you, it's not the person who gets it all right the first time. It's not the person who never loses. It's the person who never gives up. It's the person who continually, day in and day out, continues to learn, continues to refine, and works through the struggle. That struggle is seen as we drill, as we train, as we spar. And so I want to encourage you because one of the most discouraging things that we can do is get involved in a struggle where we're trying to figure out whether we're good enough, whether we're excelling fast enough, whether we're meeting our expectations. And I want to just take that and ask you to press pause and just realize that where you are right now is simply where you are. You have the opportunity now to build on the foundation you have to learn some things, to get better, but it's going to be a struggle. But in that struggle, you are going to find that you're going to be able to get stronger, to know more, to experience more, and ultimately to get to where you're going. You know, as we transition that into spiritual defense, there's a story that I wanted to share with you about an emperor moth. This emperor moth was in the cocoon and as the Emperor Moth was exiting, as he was transitioning, a person who saw that decided he was going to help the moth out because he saw the moth struggling. The moth was struggling and trying to get out of the cocoon. And so the man thinking he was helping took a small pair of scissors and kind of nipped open the cocoon. The sad part about this story is this. The moth needed that struggle to push and pulse the blood through its wings so that it could be able to fly. The struggle was not there. The moth simply came out of the cocoon, but its wings were shriveled up because it had not gone through the struggle. This pointed and difficult story makes us realize today that our struggle will define who we are. It's not about avoiding the struggle. It's not about getting rid of the struggle. It's about going through the struggle. And so I want to encourage you that with your faith. You know, it is a struggle to accept by faith that we can see God. It is a struggle that we look and accept forgiveness from God. It is a struggle that we trust in the things that God says in his word, how we live, how we serve, and how we pray. But I want to encourage you because in that struggle, as you go through it, you will then find the experience that you're looking for. You will then find the position that you're looking for. And you will then find ultimately the goal that you are striving for, which is to know truly who you are and who God is. I'm going to continue talking about this struggle for the next few weeks as we unpack a number of different aspects. If you have questions, if you need anything, my name is listed below and so is my email. You can find me on Facebook. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me here for Kogan Sunday service. I look forward to seeing you guys this week. Have a great week. God bless you. See you soon.